Another observation that Euler made was that in order for us to have a path, um, we have to have exactly two vertices of odd degree. We can't have three, we can't have one, it has to be exactly two. And let's look at why. So what is a path? Well, a path is that we, we start at some vertice and then we travel along our, our circuit, or excuse me, we travel along our edges, complete the graph, but we don't return to our original point. Here's a small example. If I start here at A, I travel along this edge, at where do I end up? I end up at B. Notice, this is a path. A circuit w would bring me back to the original um, node or vertice, and then we have two, two vertices of even degree. But here, we have two, two vertices, and the degree of each is one, because there's one edge going to both of them. So exactly two vertices of odd degree. We left from one, went to the other vertice, that's a path, and we have um, a path. And this always works. If I want to extend this, A and B, well, if I go there and I come back again, and then I go back to B, that's a path because I started at A and at B. Now we have two vertices, each with a degree of three. And we can keep going. Um, what if I had five edges? Well, I would go from A to B, come back, go back to B, come back to A. That's, that's a circuit. But I want to make a path, so then I end back at B. So now I have two vertices, each with a degree of five. And we could extend the amount of vertices if I have A and B and C. Well, to go from A to B to C, which is a path, I've created one, two, three vertices, each with degree of one. Oh, sorry, what am I saying? A, B, and C. Well, B has a degree of two because there are one, two edges. And C has a degree of one, which is two vertices with an odd degree. And we can keep going. We'll look at a couple more examples and we'll talk about why there can't be more than two. A, B, C, and D. To go from A to D, well, A has a degree of one, B has a degree of two, so does C, and D has a degree of one. Again, only these two vertices, just as in the others, every case, there are two vertices with an odd degree. So, so why can't we have more than two uh, vertices of odd degree? Why would that pre prevent us from actually creating any kind of path? Well, let's think about the simple model. Um, if we have A, and it has an odd degree, let's say um, three. Well, whatever is going to happen out in the graph, we don't know, but we have to leave A, right? Come back to A, and then leave again. All right, well, in that process, uh, we've prevented ourselves from creating a circuit because we left A, came back again, and left. Well, if we have B somewhere on the other edge of our graph, and it also has an odd degree, that's okay. We can, we, can still, we can still create a path, right? Because assuming I left A, when I left A, whatever I do in here, I eventually could get to B. And then I have to leave B, and I can go eventually through all this spider web of stuff back to A. And then A can leave, go through all this stuff, and get back to B. So we can create, we can create a path where we have two vertices of odd degree. But why can't I have a third? And that's that's or more. Let's look at this situation where there's another vertice, and we don't know what's inside this box here, right? It could be anything. I want to generalize it. If I have this vertice C down here, and it also has three edges going to it, let's talk about why it's a problem. Well, if I leave A, right? I come to B. Let's create a different pen stroke, sorry. Leave A, and then I come to B. And now when I leave B, let's say I go back to A. We don't know what's in here and where I'm going to end up. And then when I leave A, I can come back to B, but that's a problem because if I come back to B, I can never get to C. I'd have to repeat an edge. So, knowing that, I try to go to C. Right? I know that if I go back to B, I'm stuck because I'll be stuck on that island and I can't get off because I don't want to repeat any of these bridges. So if I enter C, I can leave C. And this is where a huge problem happens because now there are two edges. And if I came to C, 
right? If I came to this edge right here, that means I could not get to this one right here, right? I can only travel each edge once. And if I travel to C, how am I going to get off? These two edges are already taken. So that's a problem, right? If I take this, I can't come to this one. If I come to this one, to island B, I can't get to C. So we can have the situation where there are all these different uh, vertices of odd degree. And the same, I can keep extending it. If I had another, another um, vertice over here of odd degree, I still run into the same problem. So, so if we have more than, than, than two vertices with an odd degree, we cannot create a path. All right, I hope that helped.